Uh, recap of the match so far. Jishan Leong took two out of three in the first singles match. Then Benjamin Brossier coming from behind against Yevgen Prishepa. Plenty of diving action there. <laughs> it was a nail biter the whole way through. And Brossier's body language at the end says it all. Gorak and Ekholm, another come from behind effort. Yeah, they had to fight through some visible frustrations in their match to clutch it by the narrowest of margins in the second and third games. Alex Chan, honestly, for me, was the standout performer of these individual matches. I'm with you. I think a strong showing with the forehand to overcome Ojo Analapo. And then, of course, you just saw a uh, spirited effort from Matthew de Santalan to defend his way through. Not, not quite the MJ flu game, but for de Santalan, pretty good. Let's go to Flint Lane. to seven, you'll start to find the golden game with one point. Florida Crocs, who will you play first? Daniel Gorak is your number one. Who's your number one? Mathieu de saint -Tel. Mathieu de saint is your one. Who's your number two? Jishan Leong. Jishan Leong is your number two. Who's your number two? Mark Duran. Mark Duran is your two, and who's your three? Benjamin Brossier. Benjamin Brossier is your three. Coach? Yevgen Prishepa. Yevgen Prishepa is your three and your four? Alex Chen. Alex Chen is your four, making Angela your five. Who will be your four? Ojo or Matilda? Ojo. Ojo Onoamopo is your four, making Matilda your five. Good luck, coaches. Good luck. Well, not the spiciest change-ups from the coaches in terms of determining the order, but it was a pretty tasty 15 games we just watched, back and forth, a lot of close battles. All but one of the 15 games in this team match were decided by five points or less. So it'll be DeSantelan and Gorak right back to the table to begin the golden game. So I guess this will be a true test of whether my theory is correct or not, but very interesting to see the order staying the same. I think it takes, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty gutsy move to try and change the order, but I feel like I would have switched some around. If you were Frank? Yeah. I don't know which ones. <laughs> It's easy to throw stones from the cheap seats. These, hey, these ain't cheap seats. That's true, too. <laughs> Got to have some perks in the commentary booth. Elevated sideline. We've got a fantastic vantage point here at the Broward County Table Tennis Club. Action continues tomorrow and Sunday. 3-0 for De Santalan in Princeton. Gorak able to get Florida on the board. We saw a comeback in the Golden Game earlier tonight, a Golden Game that had multiple lead changes as the Shift went back and forth, Carolina and Chicago. Chicago getting the better of the first place gold rush. I think Chicago's rooting for Princeton here to make things a little tighter in the East Division. Chicago knows that they get to face both these teams the next couple of days. Chicago, Princeton to get Saturday's 4 p.m. round started. Mark Duran doing an amazing job of coming off the bench. He's basically been there for the entire matchup after playing the first match. Looks like he's still pretty fresh to me. Went both points on Jishan's serve. And he wins the third point of the foursome as well. Durant 
finds a way to win more of those points when he's deep in the court than the average player. And he takes all four, a sweep from Mark Duran to put the Crocs back in the lead. Sheppa versus Brossier. Brossier won game two, 11 10, game three, 11 9 when they met earlier this evening. Sheppa holds serve. We're tied 5 all. Remember, it's game to 21. Heavy, heavy backspin sub variation there. Worked out well. Brossier's turn. Let. A few extra seconds to think about it. Sheppa wasn't that far away from sweeping Brossi a 3-0, but he went one and two. Scored three straight points in the golden. Yeah! And Brossi a salvages the final one of that four-point sequence. It's six up as we go back to Alexander Chan and Ojo Onaolapo. for the slower forehand opening in that point. Not able to connect the follow-up. All tied up here in the Golden Game. That's a winner from Ojo. The type of shot that the Florida Crocs got very familiar with this past fall. Three out of four for Ojo Onaolapo. And a chance for Matilda Ekholm to try and create some separation here, playing singles against Angela Guan. Ekholm has a better track record in Golden Games than Guan does. Let's see if that trend continues. Oh, that caught the edge. An apology from Matilda Ekholm, but I can't imagine she feels too bad about that. I mean, one of the things that Matilda said in the post-game interview in the doubles was she doesn't feel as fast as the other players. You put her in a match like this, she has much more time. Much, much more time to deal with an incoming ball. I think Angela in the doubles today played really well, so. Definitely an interesting matchup here. I think also when you're talking about players playing against Chop, having a good, a good feel for the ball is important. And amongst female players, Matilda Ekholm during her career was a player that was really renowned for having good touch, good control of the ball. One of the things that I think is tough for Angela is when she gets into these Golden Game situations, she tends to maybe not take the attacking opportunities as much. I feel like she's got to be more aggressive, even in the serve receives. Like 
kind of swiping at the ball with the, with the long pips, changing up the variations more. See how it goes after Princeton's final timeout. Yeah! Set up well by Ekholm. She takes three out of four. Extends the Florida lead. She is absolutely pumped. Back to the top of the order. DeSantelon and Gorak. They'll play four more points here. If we do get to 20 all, it would be these two that would decide it. And we've moved from the first round when these two played. Princeton being in the lead to now trailing. And Gorak just not finding his mark in these matchups. Typically, you would expect him to handle this kind of counter rally pretty well, but just seems to be missing the sweet spot on his racket. Santalan frustrated with himself that he missed that one. Had a chance to get back within one. Instead, Gorak and the Crocs lead by three. And again, selling that ball long. It's been a common theme in points between these two. Mark Duran comes back to the table. Can Jishan Liang do more damage than their first encounter in the Golden Game. Duran is enjoying himself right now. Gotta love the passion. Oh, what a return! Mark Duran just pulled a rabbit out of his hat. And the Florida supporters are on their feet for that one. keyshawn has got to be thinking, finally. One of those forehands scores me a point. Duran has scored the first six against him here in the Golden Game. Big point here. And it will be a four-point lead for Duran and the Crocs with Brossier and Prescheppa set to retake the table. What a run in the Golden Game for Mark Duran. Prescheppa looking to claw back some of this distance between the two teams. He would need a clean sweep here just to level the playing field. Shannon Onalapo are next. Back to a two-point game. Say it one more time. If it is tied 2020, and we get the sixth ultimate golden point in MLTT history, it'll be Gorak and DeSantelon. That missed the table. Off the net, off the edge, did not hit. Service error. Timeout, Florida. Definitely great that they have a timeout in the bag. Think about your, your best option. After all, you have Prusheva, what has been your best option? If you, say, if you go short to it, he's going to go with it. Okay, so then we ready. Matt, what do you think is Brosier's best option right now? Um, I think short reverse to the forehand. It was a serve that he discovered during their singles match worked best for him. Goes to the backhand. And he missed the table on the third shot attack. Golden sweep for Prescheppa. 
16 all between the Revolution and the Crocs here on a Friday night in South Florida. That certainly changes the flow of things up here in this golden game. Four points for Chen on Alapo, and then four for Guan and Ekholm if we get that far. Princeton is back in the lead. Had a feeling Ojo was going to take some big swings there. He did not wait to set it up on the attack immediately. 17 all. How about that? He had barely enough space to hit that ball cross court, but somehow got it down the line. Man, we've had a couple pretty good golden games today, haven't we? Oh, what a counter by Alexander Chen to split the four-point sequence. And they leave the table with it 18 apiece. It's up to Guan and Ekholm right here. Matilda took three out of the four earlier this game. If they split 2-2, two, two, it'll all come down to one point between Daniel Gorak and Matthew de Santillan. Guan will serve first. Big point for Princeton. She missed it, and Guan sets up. Match point for Princeton. So now Ekholm just trying to get her doubles partner back to the table. Matilda needs these next two points on her serve. It's over, and Angela Guan finishes the night for the Revolution. What an outstanding golden game performance between these two teams. 